Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Now, what, what was your name, sis? What's her name? Kaylee. Kaylee. Now, I want, watch this. What, turn around and tell Kaylee what color Christ is. We, we read it to him out of the Bible. Right. You read about it in Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. I want to read it for you, too. Let's read it one more time, Paul, because I want her to see it, too. We'll read this scripture over and over and over again so our people can understand that our Savior, the man that's coming back to deliver us, looks like us. Y'all understand? Read that. 14. 1 14. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs. Were white like wool. So the hair on his head and the hair on his beard was white and woolly. Which one of these got white woolly hair? That one. Read on. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were a flame, was as a flame of fire. And his feet like a to fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Hey, where you going, bro? Come back, bro. Come on. And his voice is the sound of many waters. So it said his feet was like fine brass. Brass is brown, right? And it says like it's been burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything, what color is it going to turn? Black. So what color is Christ if it's, he's black? He's a black man. So listen, I want y'all, y'all got a flyer, right? You go on the back of the flyer and you can find our yes, videos. Just type... Yes, Right, you can type our videos in, type in Israel United Christ, and y'all can watch our videos. You got a question? Huh? Y'all gonna have to, y'all, y'all together, right? So all y'all look at the flyer together. Now, let me ask you a question, sis. You man, how old are you? 16. What's your nationality? You black. Okay. Black. Is there a land of black? Can you go to a land that's called black? No? Okay, watch this. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. According to the Bible, we're the children of Israel. All right? And we went into slavery. These things right here happened to our people, right? Did you know that these things was actually documented in the Bible? That these things will happen to us? That God said that these will happen to us? Did you know this? Did they ever, you went to church, right? Did, did they ever teach you this in church? They showed you this in the Bible? What can I read about this at in the Bible? You're not sure? You want to learn it? It seems like you don't want to learn it. You want to learn it? Y'all want to learn it? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. We're going to find out who Moses was speaking to real quick. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Watch this. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So God was speaking to who? All who? Israel, right. Well, today we're known as black people, but in the Bible we was known as the nation of Israel. And he's going to tell us what's going to happen to us in the future. You know about how our people got here, right? How did our people get here? How did they get here in, in America? How did they bring us over here? Do y'all know? How did they bring our ancestors here? Ships. On ships. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15, and then jump to 68. Bring it out, Doc. Hey, sis. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites that they break God's commandments, that curses will come upon them and overtake them. A curse is a bad thing. So he said, bad things will happen to you in the future if we break God's commandments. Y'all right. understand? Watch this, 68. Here go one of the bad things that happened to us. Well, I was showing y'all right here. You see this? Look at the slave ships. What's your name again? Look at Nathaniel. That's a powerful name. Look, look at these slave ships right here. You see how people 
Right here are the ships. You got the ships. You got this brother that's been beaten on the back. Right? You got the so-called Native Indians was taken into slavery also. Right. These things happen to us, and I'm going to show it to you in the Bible. Watch this. Read verse 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So it says that we will be brought back into Egypt. Egypt is synonymous for bondage or slavery. He said we're going to come into slavery on ships. On ships. Look at this right here. This is how we was brought to this land, on ships. Very important that we know our history. We got to know why these things happen to us and what we got to do to fix the problem that we are in today. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye And there, once we get off the slave ship. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Meaning nobody is going to be able to save us out of the conditions that we was put in. We were sold on auction blocks once we got off the slave ships. All right? So I want y'all to go and watch the videos at home on YouTube, okay? Because I see, I see y'all got to go. Hey, you know what color Christ is now, right? It makes you proud, right? That's right. Go home and look at those videos. We got more videos. Give me that. Uh, go back to Ezekiel real quick, chapter 3. So... What I was bringing out at first, in Ezekiel 3, the Lord said that we should get to our people. These things that we bringing out, a lot of our people don't know. Right. A lot of our people say, well, I know Jesus is black, but what about the rest of your people? These young children don't know that Jesus Christ is black. Look at the movies that they put out about Jesus being white. He thought, he thought, Jesus, he thought Jesus Christ was white and a, and a black man was the devil. Exactly. He thought Jesus Christ was a white. Hey, you young brothers right here, man. Y'all got time? Check it out real quick. Okay. So he thought that Jesus Christ was the white man. And then I said, who is this black man right here? He said, that's the devil. See that? What you mean we, are, we, we should come out here and preach that Jesus Christ is the black man? The white man been doing so much evil on these TVs and on these cartoons. They got our people hating ourselves. That's right. He said that the black man is the devil. And y'all think that's a small thing. Why do you think all this crime is happening in our community? Because our people hate each other because of what's being displayed on the TV. Right. Read that real quick. Give me verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 3, 11. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 11. And go, get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people. Unto who? The children of thy people. God says, go and get to them of the captivity. You blacks and Hispanics, you were the one that was put into slavery. God is talking to you. He said that we should come to you of the captivity of the children of thy people. Right. He didn't say all people. Right. He said, go to your people That's and right. preach this Bible. Read on. And speak unto them and tell them. Thus saith the Lord God. He says, thus saith the Lord God. We're going to tell you what the Bible says. Read. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Give me verse 17. God says, whether you want to hear it or not, go out there and preach to them. Because God wants to save his people. He wants to save you blacks and Hispanics. But a lot of you rebel against the Bible. You rebel against the Bible. And these are the last days. Bring it that you don't, you don't have a clue what's going to happen in the future, but we're going to give you some insight to save your soul alive. Verse 17. Verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So we are the watchmen. God said that he made us watchmen, meaning he opened our eyes and gave us the understanding of the prophecies in this Bible. That's right. And we're supposed to come out here and watch for your souls. That's our job. He said he made us a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth. Meaning when we speak this Bible, you should listen to it. Come on. And give them warning from me. So our job is to give you warning. Warning of the dangers that's to come. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. 
Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 